guys, it is Tristan with Nerd Ads News. Tian, and there hasn't been a lot of late breaking news when it comes to the JD and AH situation, but there definitely is something to talk about today, and I want to do that. And it's actually more pertaining to a documentary that Discovery Plus has ordered and how we think it's going to go. Now, I want to go over the Hollywood Reporter article. But a lot of this is pure speculation to a degree because we don't have any clear cut information besides what they are giving us. But I am wondering what kind of light we are going to see both people involved, both Amber and Johnny, what kind of light they are going to put them in. Are we going to see the natural media spin that tends to favor, tends as in always, favors Amber over JD, or are we going to see a true, honest documentary about something that has swept the nation? Let's take a look at it. Now, if you are new to the channel, of course, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this type of content, hit like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which way you think this will lean. Do you think this will be heavy on the O always? Believe All Women. Happy International Men's Day, by the way. Or do you think this will be fair? Now, it is a two-part documentary on JD and AH's breakdown. Breakdown is subjective. I would say train wreck was a better word for that, right? But there is definitely a few other words we could add in there. So, it says Discovery Plus, which has now basically gotten the rights to a lot of, well, will be getting the rights to Warner Brother properties, and that's where my first fear is with this, uh, said Friday that they ordered Johnny vs. Amber, a two-episode documentary that tells the story of the breakdown of the relationship between JD and AH and how it tipped into a celebrity court case of the decade. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's eyes were on this when the high court had this overseas and everybody's eyes will absolutely be on this again when we revisit it next summer. I think that is going to be a more fair case. Now, of course, fair is subjective, so I don't know how this will go, but it says produced by Ottoman, the Discovery streamer said the program will tell the international cover story from two polarized perspectives. And I actually do like that. It explained, Johnny's film would portray that he found himself married to a Machiavellian liar who would stop at nothing to protect her image, while Amber's film explores how she married a man of her dreams only to see him turn into a violent, drug-fueled monster. Okay, there is one thing that drives me crazy about mainstream media is Everything is biased and not everything is always true. You're finding out with this stuff with Ro uh, with the Kyle Rittenhouse situation that a lot of people thought he murdered three black men and that's how it was kind of framed when it came out. A lot of it was more along the lines of self-defense or was it? It just depends on how you watch what you watch. And if it's, you know, CNN or MSNBC or if it's Fox News or Owen, it really honestly just depends. What drives me crazy about that is there is no more news that is unbiased and lets you make up your mind. And this is going to be more of that, it seems. I understand they are telling both sides of the story and they are working with some people alongside Johnny and everything else. But are you telling both sides or are you telling one side with a bias and a clear bias on the other? I I don't know. I I don't trust a lot of documentaries. Now, some can be done really well, but they always have that bias. And of course, that's almost irrelevant because we all do, right? Says the doc will feature lawyers involved on both sides, and people close to the pair, as well as footage and audio filmed by the stars themselves. Basically, they go through a lot more. And it says, um, 
Uh, said Clark, Claire, sorry, Laycock, senior VP planning and insight head of entertainment at Discovery. The series provides an in-depth insight into the epic battle that powered uh, Justice for JD and her I stand with you. I've never, I'm not even kidding you. I have never seen anyone use this hashtag. Never one single time. Now, of course, I'm not on a lot of the social media platforms. So let me know if you guys have ever seen this. I, all right, all right. I guess that's a real hashtag that people use. Okay. Um, campaigns that, and, and the very public high court case that gripped us all, a bottom man, um, has done a fantastic job turning the multi layered story into something both engrossing and horrifying. The story of what happened between Johnny and Amber continues to be hugely divisive between fans and the public at large. Maybe I'm in a bit of an echo chamber when it comes to this, but I'm not sure it is. I think about three people believe Amber and the majority of people have seen the truth. Now, again, maybe it's an echo chamber thing, but I haven't seen a whole lot of support, maybe mildly. Um, but not a whole lot of support for AH, right? Um, we set out to make a documentary that would explore this story from each of their perspective so that viewers can go beyond the headlines, understand who they are, and decide who they should believe in this complex human story. We think it's a compelling contemporary story on truth and lies that we hope will open up a conversation with our viewers on Discovery+. Plus. I like this idea. I don't necessarily trust this because, like I said, Discovery is getting Warner Brothers in this merger that's happening, and Warner Brothers is who fired Johnny from Fantastic Beast 3, if you remember, quite a while back. I like the idea of it. I think it's a solid idea. Show all sides of the presentation. Show all sides of it. And then let your viewer make up their mind. My biggest issue is, are they going to unbiasedly show both sides? Are they going to look at it and be like, look, this is really his story. This is really her story. And I would be willing to watch both to see if I thought it was fair. But I don't know that Discovery Plus is a property or a, or a conglomerate that can do that unbiasedly. I don't know. I think it's worth checking out when it comes out. I definitely will and likely review it. But I don't know that I trust it. I don't know that I trust a lot of media, so I don't think I'm alone in that. I think that's most of us. Anyways, of course, let me know what you guys think about this. If you're, you know, kind of along the same lines I am, where you're like, eh, no, probably not. Or if you think, yeah, this is a great way to get the word out. Either way, let me know down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.